Peepa and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to have a go at making stuffed peppers. Right, I haven't shown you but at the moment I've got minced meat boiling and rice. <laughs> Uh, you can use anything for stuffed peppers, apparently you can even use leftovers and because I don't do enough meals, uh, enough food for leftovers yeah enough meals yeah I don't do enough food for leftovers um, obviously I have to cook from fresh Right, I've never done a <clears throat> pepper before so I'm going to go I've been told to take the top off And I've been told to discard all this, so it's a case. Uh, I might have not took enough top off, but it doesn't matter. Right, so now I'm going to scoop it out with a spoon. Oh, it's come out nearly clean. Very good. So I'll just scrape the extra bits out. And I don't know if you have to, but I'm just going to give mine a, a, a I'm going to wipe mine out, uh, not wipe it, I'm going to rinse it out because I don't know if you, if you are supposed to. I'm just going to take the extra bits off I can see. Right, I have just put the rice in, but I have forgot to get the salt and pepper. Could you get me some salt and pepper, please? Got no pepper. No, we have. It's just... Just forget it, no matter. I'll just put salt in it. So I'm going to put salt in it. Anyway, I don't, don't need pepper. We've got peppers here. Right, I put a bit of salt in it to give it more flavour. And I don't know if you can see the pepper. It's here. Can you see it later? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it up and put some stuff in it. You can have anything you want in it, like a right spaghetti or something like that. I think that might be a bit too much, not that bitter. I think that should be enough. That should be. I think that's too much. Should be alright, shouldn't it? <laughs> uh, story of my life, eh? Putting too much filling in. I don't know if you can see that. But no, because I don't want it falling over. I don't want a disaster like that, do we? Right, now that. It's got to go in the oven for about... I don't know, probably about 20 minutes. I don't know if you can see that. Stay boy. Uh, can you see that? Can that be seen? And uh, as you can see, I, I know I've overfilled it, but then again, I always overfill it. So like I say, I'm going to put it in the oven for 10 minutes and on gas, uh, on gas mark, on electric uh, 180. So yeah, I'm going to put that in and uh, hopefully get it cooked. I put it on a tray. And the reason I'm putting these in is because we've got a problem with the little red one. It won't stand up. We've just had mincemeat and rice flying all out, sure. Stay, boy. Oh, please. Watch this fall over and let me... Well, no. Tells you it's going to go. It's going to go. I'm going to have to put that on, on to really, to hold him up. That's it. Blessed. Look like two sisters. They've been in 10 minutes. I don't know if you can see that they do look a bit long, a bit done to me. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking, thinking I'm going to put them in for another 10 minutes because I'm not sure if they want doing a bit more. They look like, to me it looks like everything's been done, but then again it was cooked before it went in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them back in for the oven to, <laughs> oh if I could only talk. I'm going to put them in for 10 minutes, yeah, put my tongue out and let it ravel by. Uh, put them in for another 10 minutes and hopefully they will 
Well, they will do, uh, well, a bit more, and then obviously Lee will do his taste test. Right, as you can see, they've had another 10 minutes, and they are done. And this is the end result of the pepper that's, um, well, I kept telling you it was falling over. And my son's going to do the taste test, come on dear. There's four, there's a plate, careful, because it's going to be hot, it's just come out of the oven. I'll admit it, I'm not looking forward to it. Mince meat, mince meat, mmm, rice and onions. Yeah, no, I've got a four. And you've got a bit of peppers. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. I've never tried pepper. Mincemeat's Ah, oh, you lost your mincemeat, you Forget it. Never mind, just eat your pepper. Three hours later. Oh, funny. Um. The pepper was a bit spicy when I first put into it. Mm. Obviously, it's a pepper. Um, and the minced meat and rice, you could just taste. And onions. Don't forget the onions. Yeah. You'll get very upset if you forget the onions. <laughs> like, you can taste everything. Um, yeah, but the pepper is obviously stronger than everything else. So you can taste the pepper more than anything else. Am I allowed... Pepper, a pepper, a bit of pepper. Bit of, bit of pepper. <laughs> I will smile. I will take your glasses off and put put you in the eye with a fork if you carry on. <laughs> no, I can't do one hand, that. Don't work. Get it. Um, I'd probably say try it and well, if you throw one up, I'll record it. What the hell? Anyway, do I get the thumbs up for that? Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> right, I hope that, uh, pew, nah, hope that gives you a rough idea how to stuff peppers. Like I said, you can put anything in you want. Uh, you can put leftovers in. It doesn't really matter what you put in them as long as you just stuff them. You don't have to do them as full as I've done them. As everybody will know, my earlier videos, I over, always overpack my stuff. Uh, so if you like what you see, please keep giving me a thumbs up, it be much appreciated. If you want to leave me a comment on whether you want me to make something or whether you want me just to cook something or warm it up or whatever you want me to do, please be more clear. And if you haven't already subscribed, please feel free, the more the merrier. Thank you. Bye.